Hey G Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So the episode this cool Ms. Mara here and basically what this is is a power bank that's by the brand called Anchor. So for the power brand that we have right here, it provides you guys 26,800 mAh. So it definitely can give you guys a lot of charge on here. Probably somewhere around like five charges on your iPhone device probably. So obviously when you guys first get the product, it actually comes with the actual charger and also the cable. But basically all I have right here is the actual power bank and they provide you guys this very nice bag as well. So I'm gonna just take this out and show you guys what the product looks like first. So they do have a button right here to activate the product. And this also has the indicator light to show you guys the battery life. So we press it one time. Yeah, and you see how it lights up and it show you guys the battery life right there. So it's not fully charged because it's missing one of the lights right here. But I can see right here, they have the anchor logo right here. And we turn it on the side right here. You guys can see how they have two USB outputs right here. And then right here, we have a USB-C output right here. And for the USB-C output that we have right here, it also works as an input as well. So that way, if you guys want to use like your wall charger to charge it, or if you guys want to use the USB-C option to actually charge your other device, like your laptop or whatever, you probably can. And in terms of the USB outputs right here, they do use the Power IQ technology, so you can definitely get a fast charge on there as well. So on the listing, what they mentioned is that if you guys use the USB-C output right here, to actually charge like your laptop, mainly like the MacBook Pro 13 inch. It can definitely give you guys one full charge and a little bit more. And if you guys are curious about what are the outputs on the actual power right here, the USB can give you guys up to 15 watts of charging speed. And then for the USB-C can give you guys 45 watts. And the time that it takes you guys to fully charge the product should be around like three hours and 30 minutes. So the power bank itself is definitely a little bit bulky, but it can definitely give you guys a good amount of charge on here when you guys actually use it. And if you guys ever forget about the specs that's on here, you guys can refer to the side right here. So I'm not sure if you can see or not, but they provide you guys a spec right here. So you can definitely refer to this spot right here if you guys want to know about the specs. But this is basically what the product looks like. Like I mentioned, they actually do provide you guys a box when you guys first get it. And they also provide you guys like the wall charger and the cable as well. And I got this product over like one or two years ago. And over that time, I got other charger that I think is better than that one as well. So I'm gonna show you guys what those are. So here's one of them that I've been using almost all the time. So this is also by the Anchor brand. And they have the little NK light right here as well. And they basically have two options for you guys right here. One is USB-C and one is USB. And for this product, it can definitely give you guys a fast charging speed. But the cool thing about this product is the fact that not only does it work as a wall charger, but also works as a power bank as well. And this one is 10,000 mAh, which is definitely a good amount of charge on here. So this is one of the products I've been using almost all the time. But the main one that I've been using to charge like my laptop and all these other devices is this one right here. So this one is also by the Anchor brand, if you can see. This is the Anchor Nano 2, and it is 65 watts. They do have this available in a smaller size, I believe like 45 watts or 35 watts or something. But I got the most powerful one here, so I can definitely use that to charge like power banks, uh, phones, or even for like laptops, you can definitely do all that on here. Since this one definitely has like the Power IQ technology on here, and also has the GAN technology on here, so you can definitely get like the safest charging speed on the fastest charging speed as well. And they have this foldable design, so that way actually makes it really compact and portable as well. So these two are the chargers I've been using, and then here is the power bank. Let me actually test these out to show you guys how it works and when actually it works first. So what I'm doing right now is plugging some cables to show you guys when actually it works first. All right, so the first one that we got right here, we got that part plugged in. And then the other side, I want to plug into my phone. All right. So you see that that definitely does work. And the way how you guys fast charge your phone or device is when your percent is low. If it's really high, like above 80% or 70%, it probably slows down the charge. It will not charge as fast. Like right now, it's around 69%, so it won't really charge as fast as where you guys want it to be. But over time, it will definitely charge faster when you guys have a lower percentage. And also, like I mentioned, it can definitely charge like your laptop as well. Let me actually move the camera over and show you guys that test as well. Alright, so I got everything all set right here. Let me actually charge it up to show you guys how to charge your laptop if you guys want to use the option right here. So basically, I'm going to plug this part right here. And the other side, I'm going to plug in my laptop. Alright, so I basically, I'm going to plug in this side right here. So you see that that definitely does work. So it is charging a laptop as well. And also it's charging my phone at the same time. And we see that once we actually plug it in, it actually lost a bar already. So it definitely takes a lot of battery on here when you guys are using it to charge your laptop. And obviously if you guys want to use it to charge your phone at the same time, it takes up a lot of battery as well. But let's test out this other output right here as well to show you guys whether or not that actually works. So for the other one that we're going to use right here, we'll plug in a USB option right here. And the other side, I'll plug into my fan that we have right here. So right here. All right, so you see that once we plug it in, there is a red indicator light that pops on. So you definitely see that that definitely does work as well. So when you guys are using three outputs right here, both the USB and USB-C option, 
it definitely does work. But now let's try out the input option on the USB-C option to see whether that actually works. So we're gonna plug in the other side of the USB-C right here onto this Anchor Nano 2. And basically plug this into the wall charger to actually test it out. So you can see that once you actually plug it in, you can definitely see that it is charging. But basically when the power bank is charging, it will not charge the other devices at the same time. So that's definitely really nice because it has that safety protection inside to protect like your power bank so that way it doesn't overcharge or anything. And this way it allows the power bank to fully charge first before you guys use it to like charge like other devices. Whether you guys want to charge like your laptop, your phone or whatever. But definitely if you guys can see it give you guys the option to use both the USB-C option as an input or output. So definitely see everything on here works. But let me actually test this out as well and show you guys how this works if you guys want to use as a power bank to recharge this. Or if you guys want to use that to recharge this. Alright, so we unplugged it from the other side right here. And basically want to just plug this inside right here. So you can see that once you actually plug it in, it definitely does work. So right now it's basically using this power bank right here to charge up the power bank right here. You can see the light right here. That's how you guys know. So you can definitely see that that works as well. But that is basically everything that's on the product. You can see everything on here definitely does work. So now it's a quick test of the product and definitely see that actually does work and it works quite well. Super easy to use the product, if you can see. But obviously because my laptop is fully charged right now, it won't charge as fast but definitely will charge if you guys want to use it on here. And also in the video you can see, you can definitely use it as input as well. So that way you can plug in the wall charger to recharge the power bank as well, which is super convenient. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and test the product, not to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these, especially if you're trying to look for a high quality power bank that has a huge battery capacity on here. And also if you are trying to look for a power bank that can give you guys fast charging speed, regardless if you guys want like a USB option or USB-C option, then this is definitely super worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.